everybody happy monday welcome to another vlog so today is monday november 7th and i'm super super excited about today y'all so i haven't really documented my journey my car buying journey um because it was literally like so easy effortless um so i used carvana to purchase a car um to actually finance a car and today is the day it's being delivered like i'm so happy if you watch my last vlog y'all if you didn't watch my last vlog go back to my last vlog i was talking about my plans for the house and my immediate plans of things that i needed to take care of and getting a car was one of them so today is the actual day that the car comes so um i just got off the phone with the person who's transporting the car and my drop off date was supposed to be at 2 p.m but it's actually he's actually gonna move the the drop off up to 12 45 so it is 12 15 right now so i'm super super hyped and i'm gonna come back after after the whole car experience um after i show you guys you know the exchange um, I'm going to come back and tell y'all a little bit more in detail about um, what I had to do to get the car. So they said I need my license and I need my proof of insurance when a guy comes and then they can hand over the car to me and all that stuff. But like I said, again, I'm going to explain more in depth exactly what I did to get my car and what my experience was like. So... If you here for that, if you're thinking about shopping with Carvana, if you are interested in, in this, stay right here on this video, y'all. Stay right here. I'm going to be telling y'all everything, every, everything. Y'all, the car is arriving. They went past my house, but I think they're going to turn around. I might not be able to record everything. It's my baby. I might not be able to record everything, y'all, but that's her. So excited. So, guys, I'm on the balcony, and, you know, the Carvana, the van is, is there. Um, it's on the tow bed, so they're trying to figure out a space that's... Um, a space good enough where they can get the car off the tow bed so it's happening it's happening y'all like i am like but i'm very impressed so far oh my god it got tense y'all it got tense it looked better in person like i'm like ah! like i'm like and i can't wait yeah it's a little warm outside, so this will keep you nice and cool while you're driving around. Oh my god, I appreciate the tents. Yeah. <laughs> well, it smells good in here, too. So will like the plates come in the mail or something like these temporary? Yes, mm -hmm. Once we get all of your paperwork okay. submitted to the DMV, there will be a seven day period where uh, you'll be in Yeah. That's just nice. That, that's the actual mileage and stuff. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Um, do y'all like wait for me to drive it or yeah, that's, yeah. that's up to you if, if you, you want, want to take it on a test thing feel, feel free to do it okay i'll go ahead and do that now okay everybody so i'm back in the house after making a purchase on a car 
so what happened y'all i didn't get that much foot footage of the transaction um because i wanted to be re be respectable of the workers time they said they had other deliveries to do as well this was only the second one today um and they had three more so i wanted to be respectable of their time however they were very very nice and i'm sure they would uh, allow me to ask questions and to um you know film them but i just didn't want to do that i just want to be respectable of the process so i got my car so let me explain to you guys a little bit of the experience what happened okay so first i do want to say this is not a sponsored video this is not a promotional video i was not pay to do my review or share my experience or anything like that i just thought that more people needed to know or use this as an option so quick little story time or whatever so i got in an accident in 2020 and then i started working from home so i didn't really have a need for a vehicle and my husband had a car so we didn't need to have two it was pointless we did not have to have two but since moving, my need for a vehicle, I have a need for a vehicle now. So, um, and then my husband's car, essentially, it, it broke and we were renting cars and that was very draining and we were spending money, like, for no reason, for months, like, for maybe three or four months. So, boom. So, Carlana was in my email talking about you pre- um you're pre-qualified you're pre-qualified i always ignored it um up until about a month ago or whatever so i started looking on the website and the prices was right like the prices was was, was given and then they have the options that you can customize your terms so when i tell you i guess it's a, a according to credit score what your terms would be but they have um they have something on a website where you can also customize your own credit terms. So for example, so they had some cars that was like, yo, all you need to put is $100 down. Granted, your car note would be about like $500 a month, but if all you got is 100, we got you. That's pretty much what it was like. I was like, nah, I got a little more than 100. Let, let's see what we working with so you can budget you can figure out exactly what you're working with and i guarantee you you will find a car that's within your means and within your budget so the first thing that happened is that i found a car it was a 2015 toyota corolla it was like um mocha kind of color on the outside and the inside was a peanut butter it was a peanut butter it was a peanut butter inside I thought this car was so cute and it was just like a thousand dollars down but like 470 a month and I was like 470 a month that's a stretch however if I customized my terms and put more money down I could have paid less a month but I just wasn't working with that type of bread at the point I wasn't working with that type of bread to put a uh, a higher down payment um just to be honest because with moving and everything i don't gotta explain myself but i just ain't had the funds to put a higher down payment so basically i started the process with trying to get that car because that that was the one i wanted i said if i wasn't gonna be paying something monthly i want to be paying something monthly for something like i really really like so i started the process with that car so the first thing they have you do is you have to provide proof of your id proof um you have to provide proof of your id um and then you have to let them know how would you like to finance are you financing with carvana or are you going to be paying out of your pocket um and then also they have an area where you have to upload uh documents as well so the documents that has that needs to be uploaded is your last six months of your big account statements for me anyway i feel like if this is across the board but for me i had to upload the last six of my bank account statements 
um i also had to upload proof of utility um proof of my driver's license i, I think i said that already and proof of insurance um so when i was trying to get the corolla and they didn't even ask for the money yet they didn't even ask for the money yet all they wanted to know is how you were going to pay and what account are you going to pay from so you can get through all this process um, and not have to give the money yet and then you can cancel it at any time at any point in time in this transaction you can cancel it so when it came to the toyota i gave them my bank statements i gave them my id i gave them proof of insurance now proof uh, carvana at least the one that i use use root insurance and it's directly connected with carvana so once they offered me an insurance quote through Carvana. Um, so that was the insurance that I was going to go through um, originally. Root insurance through Carvana. Um, so I got all the way up into that point. Scheduled a delivery date. That was like five days away. Scheduled a delivery date. And then I decided I can't do it. I decided realistically that would be just living outside my means, trying to be cute, trying to have the Corolla outside with the foreign inside was a little too much. It was like, it was like, it was doable, but it would have been some form of struggle. I would have had to give up something to have that. And that's not what I wanted to do, so so i stopped trying to look for a car for about a week two weeks or whatever and then i came across the car that i have right now the car that i got today which is a 2018 chevy cruise um it's just we didn't need something that big like we needed something that was realistic that i could pay for that i wouldn't have to it wouldn't be a struggle payment and so, so that is the car that i ended up choosing again the terms are based on your credit situation because they do pull your credit and because i had went through all i went through previously with the toyota i didn't have to do nothing when i chose this car this time i didn't have to do nothing they were like oh you want it you want it you got it all you got to do is uh, provide insurance for this car so boom so i went to root insurance and remember i was about to get the corolla with root insurance but i had canceled the insurance after i decided so they said oh we can reinstate your policy no problem but i couldn't change the vehicle that i was reinstating it for and i called them like um i'm actually getting another vehicle i'm not getting this, this vehicle they're like oh we can't reinstate your policy until the 11th of november because that's when your window closes and i'm like huh okay yeah so i gotta figure out another insurance option i ended up going with geico which actually ended up being cheaper for me so my insurance is only a little bit over a hundred dollars so I was so happy about that when I went with Geico. So I'm like, okay, that's all I needed from there. Set up the delivery time, which was today, November 7th. And like I said earlier in the video, they called me. My delivery time was supposed to be 2 o'clock. They called me and was like, can we come at 12.45? So now here's a part of the story about the transaction. So the delivery man came on time. Uh, he said 12.45. I heard them outside at 12.45. However, they needed to find a location um, in my complex where they can safely drop off the car. So when they finally found a location or whatever, they, they parked my car nicely in a parking space. They were like, go ahead and take a look at the car, see if you like it, da da da, -da. And you'll see in a video that at least that part so what you didn't see in the video is that i actually 
test drove the car. So I took it out of my complex and around the corner and I came back and I test drove it and it drove, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Like it, it drove fine. Um, I got back to, to my complex and they were there waiting with a bunch of paperwork. So let me tell you about the paperwork process and what they go over. So Carvana will ask you if you want their warranty, their Carvana car warranty. So the warranty itself does not put extra money on your down payment cost. It just adds extra money to your monthly cost. So let's say I was to opt into the Carvana um, warranty program or whatever. So my down payment would have still been a thousand dollars. However, if I think they got basic, standard, and like premium plans, whatever amount those basic, standard, premium pay plans they would have added it to your monthly payment so let's say my payment is like 370 and the basic plan is 30 dollars they're gonna add that and now my my monthly payment is 40 dollars i mean 400 dollars every month so they had that option but if you choose not to go with their warranty they have a hundred day warranty for you carvana um it doesn't cover anything cosmetic or um, tires and things like that because they do the inspection prior but it does cover like powertrain and that type of warranty stuff so they have that for you they also have a seven day um i want to say money back guarantee but again i haven't given them money yet so they have that warranty as well for seven seven days you can choose to change your mind you can change your mind in seven days they'll either give you your money back or swap out your vehicle for a different vehicle so i like that too it gave me peace of mind because well it is 2022 so i guess buying a car from online is not something too crazy but it was crazy for me because anytime i ever purchased a vehicle it was in person at a dealership um so it was a little different to me and that's why i kind of backed out the first time but this time i was all in because i i needed a car at this point it was like no going around it like toro was just eating up my funds and i couldn't do it no more i had to get a car of my own i had rented toro twice in one month and that was the cost of a car note and car insurance like so why I don't have a car anyway um yes so they re-explain all those things to me I had to fill out paperwork and the paperwork that I had to uh fill out was basically just giving them permission to uh go to the DMV and do everything for me Again, they do everything for you. The title, the registration, the um, license plates and everything. So right now I have a temporary Carvana license plate on my car right now. But after the seven day guarantee is up, then they'll go ahead and start processing um, my permanence to come through. They also said that my temporary license is for 45 days. So they will get my... Um, my license and title and registration all that to me before the 45 days is up so okay before i get out of here y'all i just want to get my last and final opinion and a review overall overall no funny shit my car buying experience has been a 10 out of 10 and i'm just gonna tell you why because the experience was out of the comfort of my home. I could customize my terms. I can take as long as I want to think about it. I could cancel if I wanted to. I could follow through if I wanted to. It was never pressure. It was never pressure. The only pressure was that I needed a car and I needed it ASAP. That was my own pressure. That was my own life pressure but it was never no pressure you know like how when you go to a dealership you kind of feel like i gotta get something from this dealership or if you start paperwork you feel like oh i gotta follow through or ain't nothing i can do now they check my credit 
no like this this wasn't that type of situation so i do appreciate it and my experience with carvana was just chef's kiss for the the two guys that came and delivered the car they were very professional knowledgeable they had all the information um that i needed they were very helpful and patient um so again another thing that i appreciated i didn't have to worry about being at a dealership sitting and waiting and being rejected sometimes and feeling swindled at all like you literally got i literally got what i got like what i ordered versus what i got is like a hundred percent the same and then they even they provide the carfax online for you to look at the vehicle but then they give you a printout statement so they also give you a printout of your vehicle so i picked the 2008 um car with only one owner and um it worked for me that's what worked for me so i hope if you're watching this video and you had any reservations about carvana go ahead and do it like i said it is based on your credit score whatever your terms is gonna be but you can also customize that so that is like a one that is that is a plus as well so i really appreciate carvana and i'm so happy that i have my car so i'm just knocking things off the check um the checklist y'all I wanted to move to a new apartment. I moved into a new apartment. I needed a bed. Got the bed. I needed a car. I got the car. So next is furnishing the rest of this house, y'all. So if you enjoyed this video, please stay tuned for all the rest of my journey and checking more things off the list and manifesting things and, you know, putting in the work, y'all. I would make sure I... um you know chime in and let y'all know on everything that's going on and give my honest opinion all the time so if you watch this video if this was helpful to you please like please comment please subscribe i'm new to youtube and i'm trying to get my audience up so anything you can do to help if you're feeling this uh vibe please do thank you for tuning in again i love you deja